getting ready to go. Green flag at Talladega. Samet Oskin and Canario Lisa Field. Green flag is out. And a great jump right there by the 42. He's that already three almost wide in this night. Or wide is okay. This is Talladega five wide. However, it's a problem here. So we'll see how these guys do. As a Salmon Oskin in 25 trying to get in front of that 42 of Canario right there. Also got the 15 of Henry Williams. Haven't done a race since last month. That was corny, but um, <clears throat> actually, we got one of the Daytona 500. Who did win the Daytona 500? I think it was the 42. As 15 just got moved up out of the way right there by Zachary Fitzwater Sr. Here he comes in the 29. Leading lap one was actually Canario. He's hanging tough right there on the outside. Trying to clear the 25. Neither of them have anyone up to their bumper. These guys are four or five wide back there. Got the 10 car a bit off pace right there. Losing the draft. This Canario still trying to get clear of Sam and Oskin. Neither driver giving up their position as that fits on the same Up oh, 42. It was 41 there. As here comes Audra Baranaskis to make it three wide for the lead. 15 gets shuffled to the outside lane right there. As Canario was finally able to clear for that lead right there. And he takes the lead. I think it's Ying Canario in the 42. Yeah, Ying Canario. As you watch these guys on the back stretch, Fitzwater Senior has a run on Baranaskis right there. The outside lane is pretty, looking pretty fast. Here's James Bowles, season um, three, I think it was, champion. On the outside lane right there, it seems like the um, inside guys are more um, connected than the middle and outside lane. And leading once again is Ian Canario in the 42. He's gonna go down now, trying to bring the 11 with him. Trying to block two lanes at once. The Baranaskis with help from Nick Smith, 26. And here comes Baranaskis now, trying to make a move. These guys are four wide back here at the ball one, eight, two, one, five. Everyone seems to be going pretty good with the pushing here. Not pushing too much, not pushing too little. Just enough so that they won't wreck. Because the 42 is not going to lose the lead out front. It's Audra Baranaskis in the 11 FedEx Chevrolet. It's kind of weird saying that because in real life it's a Toyota now. There's Baranaskis with a big lead here. It's not what you really want at Dega. Nick Smith is um right there behind there. Is it going to go four wide? No, they don't mix me. Yeah, the 22 is trying to make it four wide. He's saying, get out of the way, man. See how has help from the 01 is the, the 26. Nick Smith is now going to get stuck in the middle. That's a solder right there, the rookie. Zachary Fitzwater Sr. trying to get the lead from Baranaskis. Baranaskis tried to block, wasn't going to work. As they complete, come, um, come around to complete lap five, Baranaskis at the line. Barely. Zachary Fitzwater trying to get the here. Ronovich in the 96 right there. They're going to take third place. Jo oh, and we have a wreck in the back. Nevins is around in the one car. Oh, and a big hit. Is that's going to bring out a caution and these guys are going to race it back to the line. These guys are finally able to get a wreck here as Zachary Fitzroy Sr. trying to take the lead here. And here comes the 96. He makes it three wide. He wants to leave for himself. That's Baranovich right there at the line. I think it was 11 on the outside. Audra Baranaskis. And yes, it was. Baranaskis led them back to the line. 
So caution flag is out for the first time here on lap six. Let us all go look at the replay. So here's where all this started. You can see these guys were five wide right here. The 66, the 5, 99, 15, and 2 car were five wide. I believe the five went down just a little too much on the six. All those guys got up into the wall right there or posted or was involved in this as well. Oh, and Nevins went up in the air right there. Went down trying to avoid the wreck. And then the oh the glitch. Track glitch got into the one car. The one car actually saved Nevins from going up and over yet again. Then both drivers got into the wall right there. And then here comes the 12. Went into the driver's side of the one car. And then both those guys stay right there. It is again. Watch the 5 and the 66. They go up into the pack. 5 and 99 hit really hard right there. The car just bouncing around. 7 also got into the 12. So about a six or seven car right here on lap uh, six or five. That's a hard hit right there. So caution's out. Let's get you back to the restart. Getting set to go back green. Audra Bernaskis leads. This was a senior Granville Jones and Canario. Green flag is out. Because we are on the halfway mark. And that's just getting a good restart right there. These guys are already up to speed. It's kind of a four car breakaway from everyone else. You see Pez right there. Speaking of Yepez, there's a um, Daytona 500 winner, Diego Yepez in the 42. Trying to work with that uh, Dodge teammate right there. Got three Dodges right there on the side. Four of them. His highest running dodge is Marcos Yepes. I think that's, that's his name, right? Yeah, Marcos Yepes. Help from, um, oh, and the 42 just kind of almost forced the 43 of the track right there. Those guys almost went five wide. Gonna look in the back of the pack right there. Henry Williams seems to be off the pace. Um, and Oscar Malik Nevins, all these guys off the base, barely trying to hang on to the trap. I exploited too bad, messed up in the Daytona race, and then and so Spurly Tube is now in um, 45. Didn't um, he missed uh, didn't have any ride last season, ended up having to stay out, but he did go to almost every race and took notes. So we'll see how well Spurly Tube does this season. I'm at 45 Wells well, Fargo Dodge right there. It's up front, three car breakaway now. Audra Baranaskis, Domes, and Fitzwater Sr. Fitzwater Sr. takes the lead, looking for that first win still. Fitzwater Sr. to Aussie here, and he has, um, I guess, kind of a big race to look forward to next race. Going to our first road course out at Sonoma. Senior says, um, fans to win there, no, no matter, matter what. Gonna try his best out there. As Jones, the rookie, right behind him, he's in that one. That's Hugo Jones. Got five laps to go now. Jones going for the lead without much help. Here comes Baranowska. She's going down to the inside. She's not going to try to help the O1 or maybe take the lead for herself. We'll see what happens. They go down the back stretch. The pack is now all. Yes. So, first guys in at least 12 points right here. It's about a 14 car pack, actually. Let's do Got a lot of guys who hasn't won that guys who won before this in this pack. Baranowska is looking to be one of the strongest cars out there. She's been up front the entire time. I believe she's also looking for a first. We have that car. 
This isn't good. Diego Yepes and Henry Williams. Uh, this is going to shake things up definitely. I'm pretty sure all these guys' spotters and Gucci for talent. That car is a look out. As Baranaskas leads out of turn uh, four right there. Here comes the 38 of Sammy Davis. The eight also. Here we go. Let me see what happens. There's some guys that get around and contact is made. Zachary Fitzwater into the wall and up and over he goes. Oh, careful. Oh, and a big hit. Oh, my God. Oh, no. A big, big crash here. As these guys are racing it back to the line, this is for the win. Eric Monaco, Audra Baranaskas. Got more lap cars here. Diego Yepes. As here comes Monaco down to the inside. He's going to get held up as the 66 gets turned. And at the line, it's going to be Eric Monaco. And that's going to end the race right there as we have a big, big wreck. Oh, and these guys are wrecked. James Bowles and Asado. Oh, and Harden to the 48 to 38. I've never seen a finish more disaster. This, oh, careful, careful, careful. Oh, thank God. That could have been dirty. So, with two to go, unless something happens, Eric Monaco is the winner of this race. Once again, Audrey Bernaske has come oh, so close. And the funny thing is, I did a race um before. I did this race before, but according to messed up right at the end and the same thing happened to Baron Oscars where she lost the lead and of trial well that's kind of funny but Eric Monaco will be declared the winner of this race unless something goes wrong let's get a look at the replay then to our finish and I'm kind of worried about that right because that was those were a lot of big hits keep your fingers crossed folks as a uh, Go take a look at the replay. See the white flag is. Oh. Go to look at the replay. So going back to that replay right here, Zachary Fitzwater Senior. I guess he didn't see the 15 right there. 15 actually came down a bit. Henry Williams right there. Both drivers getting into the wall, and 07 gets into Fitzwater Senior. The 45, the 43 also went around. Fitzwater Senior went up and over, and we're gonna watch this hit right here. Look at these guys. Actually, 32. Let's go back. It was a good thing this was not in the driver's door because that would have been a nasty hit. Over 172 miles per hour. Right into the... Oh, man. That's a hard hit. And then the 18 into the 07. Zachary Fitzwater the senior gets hard, hit hard. The 14 and the 43. Casey... Or, um... Not Casey Kane. <laughs> Ramey and Fisher also went up and over and just continue to barrel roll those were some nasty hits man another look at it here yeah the 15 kind of took the 29 by surprise right there Seven went um oh seven went back up the track again to Fitzwater Senior and turned it him upside down. And this is where all the nasty hits came from right here. There's nowhere nothing could do, couldn't instantly stop, so sends the 15 flying. Oh man. Then look at Fisher's going airborne up and over at least two drivers. I'm so glad none of these guys got into the driver's side, but I'm actually really worried about Ben Stover or Brad Stover, I think it is. Yeah, Brad Stover. Because he went head on into another driver and the entire front end of the car is gone. 
And there's another angle from our spectator can. The 15 came up. I think he was trying to get out of the way and got into the, not the 29. And so the senior did one roll right there. Then watch the 32. Hard into the. He just sends him so high in the air. I'm worried about both of those drivers. Like these guys are literally just flying and soaring like the car has no weight at all. Most drivers I'm worried about is um 32 of Brad Stover. Man. Keep good thoughts, folks. Man, look at him just barrel rolling through the air. Then we had more wrecks, I believe. Yeah, right here, these guys were trying to avoid the wreck. The um, four of Eli Bright was on the apron. Came back up on the track at the wrong time. Right into the 26 and the O, uh, or the 26 and the 20. So Nick Smith and Alexander Rowe. Thank God no one was coming because, oh. Oh, yeah. Thank God no one hit those guys in their driver's side. And then we go to... Um, I think it was the 66 tent went around. Yeah, so right here, the 41 was just trying to get the 66 out of the way and turned in right in front of the leaders and right into the 38. And let's see here. Yeah, Baranaska, she was in the lead when she saw this coming. She was going to go to the outside. And then she slowed down just a bit. The thing with Monaco is that he didn't hit the brakes at all. He just kept driving. And that got that's what got him the win right there. And I think that was it. So let's get you back to the finish. So, it looks like it will be confirmed. Eric Monaco in the number eight Budweiser Chevrolet is going to get his first career win. And it's going to come at Talladega. Eric Monaco scores the win here at Dega. As you can see, not even not a lot of cars are left on the track. So, here's the finishing results. Eric Monaco wins. Um, Tim Randolph finishes second, Ben Oscar's third, Jones um, fourth, Peter Jones fifth, Jones sixth, Canario seventh, Richard Kinghart eighth, Jeff Hunter ninth, and Jeff Hunter tenth. Yeah, and that was the finishing results. Yeah, 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 that was the finishing results. And we've just got news from the um, uh, what you call it? It's an in infield care center. The 32 of um, Brad Stover was not able to get out of the car. On he is okay. It's just that he needed help to get out of the car. He's been taken to. He was taken to into a care center, then they had to lift him to the um, Talladega Hospital nearby. And he was reporting a broken um, shoulder, right shoulder. So looks like um, those drivers are gonna have to go over the replacement. Tough break for those guys. Um, Everyone else in the wreck were okay, just a bit shaken up. But um, really, we're really glad that um, you know Stover's still breathing. He was talking to officials, just that his shoulder, um, right shoulder was was um broken. That wreck right there. Let's get you down to victory lane, where Eric Monaco celebrates his first career win. Yeah, that's awesome! Yay!
Oh, good job! Oh. Hell yeah, hell of a damn day! That's awesome! Oh, good job! Oh, park it in the wall, do some burnout.